Hi, Bernard Carter from Now Micro. Uh, you know, today, what's in the lab? Uh, something a little bit different. Um, actually showing uh, one of our 4U units. So this is our 4010X um, unit. Um, I usually call it our no compromised video wall system. These typically end up uh, sort of, you know, two post rack mounted or, um, you know, without the ears um, sitting on a shelf as a unit that can power a number of different workloads, you know, video wall, up to 16 outputs. Um, I use one as an Android build system uh, for our, you know, x86 efforts there. Um, you can use them for, you know, GP acceleration for AI workloads. Um, the one I have built out today is, you know, fairly normal-ish for what we build out, just to show a couple options. Um, you know, first and foremost, we start with a lot of airflow. Um, this thing will typically stay only a couple degrees um, above ambient with full load, with a, a full load of video cards in it, which means, um, you know, the best way to sort of run these more 24 seven or, you know, retail opening hour type workloads. Um, we have a uh, vertical M.2 in here as well. And, you know, this fits up to four video cards, but today I have uh, two Radeon Pro WX7100s in here, which is our, our lab build out that we use for some of our video wall testing. We have some, you know, quadro options as well that we use. Um, you know, big socket, um, uh, you know, enthusiast platform processor or, you know, high-end desktop processor or Xeon W's are two options. And then, you know, the four memory slots so we can fit up to 128 gigabytes of RAM. Um, you know, with the number of slots in this motherboard, we can fit a number of IO adapters as well. Um, and if we look on the back, which I think we can tilt up and see, you know, we have, uh, you know, dual ethernet and things like that. What's interesting is some of our build outs on this also have vPro support. So you get that hardware level control of the power um, and be able to, you know, power cycle the device. For example, if the operating system is non-functional, your management agents aren't actually working. Um, you know, but, you know, relatively simple build, but complex in its sophistication and its malleability towards, you know, different kinds of workloads. Uh, you know, thanks for joining today.